Hey guys. So, this will be the weekly reading for Aquarius. So you have the Magician, Aries, Virgo, Gemini energy for me. We have the World, Libra energy. The Devil, Capricorn energy. So we have three major arcanas out so far. So far. We have the Ten of Wands. Somebody is closing something out. Something toxic, destructive. That cycle's coming. A, a toxic, destructive cycle is ending. A cycle full, full of burdens. Clarify the magician. The seven of pentacles. It's somebody's doing this because they want to be with you. Yeah, it's like somebody wants to make something happen with you. They want to manifest something with you. So it is pushing them to close out a toxic cycle end a cycle that's been very burdensome it looks like they're ending something because they want to they're thinking about their long term they're thinking about their future and they see you in their future they want to be able to invest in you they want to be able to make shit happen with you clarify the world we have the moon and you guys may not even know this Hmm. Clarify the devil. The star. Yeah, the worst is over. Sense of uh, hope and optimism. It's almost like meeting you has like shown this person that there is a, like a light at the end of the tunnel or there is something better. Because whatever this this devil energy is, they thought that that's just what life was going to be like for them. Or they just thought that that's all that life had to offer for them. But I definitely feel like meeting you has given them a sense of optimism and hope. It's like they almost see a way out of their situation, which I don't, I don't quite like that. But they see a way out of their situation. But yeah, no, we have cleanup here. Yeah, this person's cutting off a karmic, like a toxic karmic. Some, it doesn't even have to be romantic. It could be karmic family, friends, things like that. But whatever. They're cleaning up their life. They're re releasing someone. They're closing out a cycle here. They're, they're even starting to work on themselves and heal with the star. Just saying they're just this devil energy. They're toxic. They have obsessions. They have addictions. I see them starting. This is like somebody that's literally doing everything here because they want you. Yeah, they see a future with you. I want to get clarity on the moon, though. But, yeah, this is somebody that is, like, t was toxic, could have had toxic karmic attachments. They had addictions, toxic habits, things like that. They had um, a lot on their shoulders. They didn't have space for this connection with you. But I feel like this is somebody that is cutting karmic ties. They are doing, starting to do the inner work because they want a future with you. What is the moon, though? Pisces energy. What about the moon? They could be closing out a cycle with a Pisces. See, what is this fear? Somebody has a fear of closing out this cycle. What is this fear coming from? The moon. And we have the three of pentacles. Okay. The moon and the nine of swords and the three of pentacles waiting. Somebody may fear that Y'all won't be able to work things out. Waiting on what? They could have just been keeping you waiting while they were trying to make the decision to end this cycle because they were afraid of ending this cycle. They knew that they needed to. They did have the desire to, but they were also afraid of it at the same time. Page of Pentacles. Um, yeah, while they were indecisive about... And it looks like they were also giving very little to this connection with you. Yeah, they were possibly even ghosting you. Or this person is worried that they kept you waiting too long. Like they're, they're worried that they kept you waiting too long for them to make these changes. Possibly. I saw the Ace of Pentacles when I was shuffling. Yeah, like they feel like they took too long to give you something stable, committed, steady. Yeah, the Hierophant. Yep, they feel like they took too long to give this to you. And they're worried. I feel like they're worried that they won't get the opportunity. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles. And the High Priestess. Uh, 
this person regrets withholding something from you. I was kind of getting with the moon in the world that they were hiding something from you. They're closing out something from you that they were also hiding from you. So, and they regret this. Yeah, they regret this now. But why were they hiding this from my collective? The Ace of Cups, okay. The Four of Wands. The Ten of Swords. Children. The Tower. And the Cold is Ice. This person was giving you mixed signals. Like as some as sometimes it would seem like they had a lot of love for you. They are very like affectionate and into you and they are wanting to settle down. And then it seems like they would switch up on you and then they would do something to betray you. I don't know if it was because their inner child was, or like they could have switched up on you because something was happening in regards to their children. There was some type of tower moment. And then I just see mixed signals. What is this tower, Scorpio energy? Yeah, the Knight of Wands. And the dark night of the soul, emptiness, disconnect. It's like they would, out of nowhere, just like switch up their energy on you. But why? They're very fickle, wishy-washy. Because this person has like a fear of the unknown or something like that. This person was like not afraid of their own feelings for you. Or they knew that they were also promising you some things that they really couldn't give to you. Like, so they were, yeah. It's like when this person started real, like, no, like when they knew that it was getting to that point where you were going to realize that they weren't going to follow through with what they were telling you they were going to do. I think that they would run or they would ghost. Wow. It's like this person knows that you're a catch, but at the same time, why are they, I, I keep asking this question on all my collective readings this week. Why are they holding, why were they afraid of walking away from this other situation? judgment so they were afraid of what the consequences of that would be oh they feel like it was going to cause some type of fight or conflict or they feel like there are people be there will be people against them walking away from this situation or try to work against them walking away from this situation king of pentacles and the two of pentacles i feel like they felt like it would also like shake up their finances or their security their stability yeah it has something to do with money security right confirmation money focus yeah. Mm hmm This person was afraid of how walking away from this situation would affect their finan financial situation. And they also saw it leading to some type of like, literally like a literal fight or like a argument, a conflict, people working against this, br them breaking up or leaving a situation. Why would there be fighting? Like, why would there be fighting? There's something about, yeah, five of pentacles, somebody feeling rejected or somebody feeling like it would be about some type of money loss or somebody feeling like they're being abandoned, left out in the cold. I don't know if that's them or whoever they're leaving, but let's see. The nine of cups. Somebody doesn't want this person to be happy with, without them. Yeah, this person doesn't. It's like somebody doesn't, whoever this person is that they're with. Or whoever this person it is karmic, it could be family, friends, a romantic lover. This person does not want to see this person move on and be happy and be fulfilled with anybody else. Leave them out in the cold and then move on and be happy with somebody else. Yeah, the two of wands and the sun and the unawakened card doesn't totally understand their love for you. And we have the four of swords. They've been taking some time to think about it, though. Yeah, the ace of wands. The eight of pentacles. Them taking a step back from it has actually made them see the potential of it. Yeah, they've been learning some lessons, too. They've been watching you. They're going to kind of pop back in out of nowhere, saying that they miss you. Yeah, an unexpected return. They want a family with you. They want to spend time with you. But why is the seven of swords here? You guys are not going to trust this person with the Queen of Swords here. You guys are going to have very strong boundaries. You're not going to just fall for this. You know, they're they're coming in saying all these nice things, but you're not going to fall for it so easily because this person has an, a history of playing games or like not meaning what they say, doing anything to get what they want or how to getting doing anything to get things to go their way. 
So I don't know, you guys are going to either reject this person or you're going to kind of put them on the back burner, ignore them until you feel like talking to them if you want to talk to them. But this person feels like losing you would be missing an opportunity. So I see them trying to manifest you back or something like that. But What are the blockages between these two? What are the remaining blockages between these two? I mean, I see them closing out cycles and cleaning up their life. But let's see, what's the remaining blockages? Because obviously, most likely you're not in union. So what are the remaining blockages? Let's do four of these. It said four. There may not be any. I'm almost through this whole deck. <laughs> Hold up. I don't know, guys. Well, I just went through this whole deck and nothing came out. So I'm going to leave it at that. Spirit says there is no blockages. Huh. All right. So now what? Where is the deck I want to use? Um, let's see. Here it is. But there are no blockages. And you and this person aren't in union. What's the why? What's happening? What's going on here? What's going on here? So we have between worlds. Somebody just it stuck in between, like still in that limbo period. Not like one foot in, one foot out the door of another situation. Yep, there, there is one reality that is slowly dying to the one that is waiting to be born. Yeah, it's just like, they're already done with that other situation. They just haven't physically left it yet. But it's like somebody has already picked you. They've already chosen you. They already know what they want for their future. They're just like kind of not fully stepping into it yet. We have good luck. Good things are manifesting. Blessed connection. Yeah, look at this. Fortune, lucky break, good opportunity, great chance, joyful occasion. We have conquering. Victory will be yours. Set your intention and watch it come back to you. Mm -hmm. So you guys maybe um, have been trying to manifest for things to go in a positive direction with your twin and it's coming in. Spirit says you have victory coming in. But we have running here, resisting change right now. They're just still kind of being a little bit resistant. Yeah, avoiding, not now, scared. And that's all it is, is fear, boundaries. It could also be that you guys are just not even letting this person come back right now. It could be that um, for some of you, I'm going to be honest. Some of you guys, this is for some of you. Your person has been trying to come back and do right by you, but you're, you don't want them. You're not letting them come back because you're mad at them. You, you're thinking about what they did to you. You feel like you can't trust them anymore. Or that's how it will be in the future. Like, they are going to be ready to, like, do the damn thing with you, but you're not going to. You're going to be like, nah. But um, so that's also what could be blocking the union between you and this person because it says rejecting, not interested, the cold shoulder. So it could be, too, that you're giving them the cold shoulder right now and it's just making them feel like it's just you don't want this with them. Yeah, it's making them feel like it's over. Yeah, you're not. It's like some of you guys are just not giving this person another chance. And it's like they are ready to be with you <laughs> or they are working on trying to, like, make space for this connection. Like they really are trying to be right by you. And you guys are just like, no, because <laughs> it says sometimes there is no next time. No second chance. The relationship is over. Failure too late opportunity is gone it could just be a missed opportunity for them now we have a joyful chapter here though it says take pride in your accomplishments celebrate and enjoy your life fate is on your side happiness fulfillment and joy it seems like you guys are good on your own like you don't need this person so it, okay that's cool oh you you want to do right by me now I, I mean, it's not really necessary anymore i don't really care anymore um we have playing it cool to win testing waters harmless games hiding truth feelings yeah, you don't, you're not with the games anymore, learning to be vulnerable. 
some of you guys yeah ascending starting a new chapter in love maybe as time goes on maybe this person will be able to get you to let your guard down over time or something like that because you guys are gonna have to learn to be vulnerable with this person again or feel comfortable enough with them to be vulnerable with them because you just feel like this person has played too many games it's like the boy who's who's cried wolf and if this hasn't happened yet this is how it's going to be in the future they're going to be coming back towards you at some point and you're not going to be just letting this person come back in some of you guys may even reject this person one two three four five times i don't know but i do it does say starting a new chapter in love learning new phase in love like you, you're used to it being this person hiding their true feelings and emotions you're you're used to them being very guarded and playing games and just being acting nonchalant but i don't i think that things are changing here sorry guys um my camera i um, mean my alarm went off and it interrupted um but yeah it's almost like this person doesn't want to play games anymore they're trying to prepare to be in union but yeah one last move you have come far on your journey keep going and you will soon see what you have accomplished you have stop this love is not for you move on toxic incompatible block for your highest good walking away and surrendering what does this have to do with this connection pros and cons weighing the pros and cons analyzing exploring comparing unsure of the relationship contemplating and dissecting hidden secrets careful of superficial appearances or making decisions without all the facts act with discernment drama yeah emotions are running high arguments conflict fallout opposing views see toxic energy competition unnecessary issues what does that do with my collective though in this person support and sunglasses i don't know you and this person may end up getting into a fight or an argument or something like that too but it says you and this person will overcome it i don't know i don't see this person letting you go because we have sunglasses this it's like they feel like it says the eyes are set on the prize this person is set on you so even if you, <laughs> it's going to take a lot for this person to get like, to leave you alone. Like they're very set on being with you. I don't know. Spirit says you and this person are going to at some point maybe overcome this, but I do see there being a period of time where like this person's chasing you. They're being very persistent. You're, you're, you're cussing them out or you're telling them off because you don't want nothing to do with them. You're ignoring them. They're trying, it's like, I don't know. Cause you guys are kind of feeling like this person isn't the one for you anymore. I feel like this person was also trying to figure out who the right person for them was. And that's probably what, and like they were out there. What about stop? What does stop mean for this connection? We have a spiritual test. Yeah. You're on the right path to discover your spiritual gifts. So you may grow and evolve spiritually. I feel like there was a time where spirit was like trying to push you to walk away from this person and like realize like, okay, this isn't working. You know, it's time to walk away from this. And I think that you guys did do that. But spirit is also saying and it was necessary for you and this person to do the inner work for them to gain a, gain a greater awareness and for you to do the same so that you could grow evolve, and evolve spiritually and so that they could do the same. But spirit is saying that now, now y'all know, you got, you know, spirit is saying now, you know, damn well that you love this person. Some of you guys are just really playing hard to get with them. And there's like nothing wrong with that. But this is for that those people that are like really good. You're guarded towards this person, but you also love the shit out of them. <laughs> so because it says fools for each other, mutual feelings into each other, two hearts completely invested, two against the world. So Spirit is saying that you and this person both, like there's mutual love between you and this person. That type of relationship dynamic that you wanted between you and this person where y'all are like obsessed with each other, like in a healthy way. <laughs> um power couple dynamic completely invested in one another doesn't have eyes for anybody else but each other it's mutual it's reciprocal spirit says that's manifesting it says coming in very soon but spirit says are you going to allow it to come in it says the wait is over in the works allowing conscious thinking dreams into reality and revelation spirit says are you going to allow this to come in because we have helpful change here. It says you will navigate through change successfully by allowing the universe to assist you when you need it the most. So spirit is saying like, listen to the divine guidance. When this opportunity presents itself to you, allow the universe to show you or guide you. 
uh, accept their assistance. I think that they definitely wanted you to accept their assistance by what, like, you know, kind of taking a step back from the situation and allow them, allowing them to work on this person. And uh, they have, we can see, look at all these major arcanas that are out here. How many are out here? We have one, two, three, four, five major arcanas out here. They have been working on this person. But Spirit says they've been working on this person for you to bring about this union between the two of you. I mean, they obviously want this person to level up for themselves and they want you to level up for yourselves, but there's something faded. Obviously, this is a twin flame connection. There's something faded about you and this person coming together. So yeah, there was they had to do this because there was an imbalance between you and this person. 444, I'm, I'm seeing it on the camera because I had to start over um, the camera. But yeah, I just saw 444. Um, it says there is an equal given. There's an unequal power dynamic in a situation that needs to be brought back to balance. Things were not fair between you and this person. Things were not equal. And that's why the divine had to step in. Yeah, but now we have rebuilding. It's like the way that things were going, Spirit says it wasn't fair. So they destructed that shit. We had the tower that came out earlier. And now Spirit is giving you and this person an opportunity to rebuild in a better way. It says reevaluate your life and adjust to thrive. In your new circumstances focus on what you can control it's almost like you and this person when you first met or encountered each other you were going into the relationship acting like how do i say that you were bringing all your past and all your baggage into this connection and it was never gonna work out with you bringing your baggage them bringing their baggage that needed to be decluttered that needed to be cleared out before the two of you and y'all needed to work on building a brand new solid foundation together so yeah What is this about? Love that involves great risk. Bad gossip. What does this stop card keep coming out for? Stop and what is that? Risk? We have community. Yeah, good time to make new connections. The universe may send some beneficial alliances your way. Friends, your tribe, and socializing. Bad games. Don't want anything serious. Mixed signals. A fresh start. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's just like there was a need to walk away from this person. Yeah. It, it was definitely a need to walk away from this person. But I also feel like either you have some shitty people around you or they have some shitty people around them. So I didn't need to revamp or re declutter their circle of people. Friends, you're trying. I'm going to get a clarifier on community, but it's just you're so used to how things have been between you and this person them sitting in those mixed signals and being manipulative and immature and being dishonest and stringing you along and not being able to trust that they have good intentions for you and them not want anything serious but we have a fresh start here this new chapter will require you to take a leap of faith that's that risk energy because some of you guys have really convinced yourself that this person maybe isn't your person anymore as a way to heal to be able to move on from them but it says this new chapter will require you to take a leap of faith in the process of which is in front of you. New beginning and new possibilities. What is up with community? It says, I like you. Yeah, coming in closer to falling in love. Mm -hmm. Romance blooming, fun, flirting, falling in love, want to date someone likes you early stages. What's up with community though? Path to plenty. You will have no problems getting what you need in life. You will be given more than enough. And we have memories. Replaying sweet past memories, nostalgia, longing, regret, holding on to the past, the past coming back. But what does that do with community? Thwarted plan. See, somebody, some people around them trying to mess. Somebody was, was trying to work against this connection, and I did touch on that earlier. It says, sharpen your will and persevere. It will not cause any long-term negative consequences. Disruption, delays, and interference. Somebody's family or friends or whoever they entertain was trying to work people that they have history with with memories here we're trying to keep them from coming back towards you but spirit says this connection is protected or you're protected protect your energy and guard yourself against the people and things that drain you they needed to they're around some very draining ass people they could like live with these people it's like they're slowly moving away from those people, especially if it's their family. It could be difficult, but it's, yeah, it's like, and it's because of this encounter with you. It's like you're showing this person, like, all these people around them are toxic as hell. 
Like you're showing them like a healthier, better way to live. Like they, 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 they're they're so they were toxic because they're surrounded by toxicity. They grew up in toxicity, so they found toxic partners. Whew. All right, guys. Whew. All right, guys.